Yeah. What it do, baby? It's your boys at Dino's making a little banger video, man. And uh, right now we're gonna watch. We're listening to James Harden's hot. I need to pay some of the background. I talk about you know the broken nets and and all, and all this questionable stuff they've been doing. Highly questionable stuff they've been doing. And I'm just pulling up my phone right now to make sure I'm looking at the accurate roster of the book and that. So let's go ahead and get into this. Just add that shit playing in the background. So we got some James Harden highlights, but. So Kemp Birch has come in. Wait one second. There we go. So. Because I've heard like a lot of people talk about like they they got Lamarcus Aldridge, they got Blake Griffin in buyouts, they got they traded for James Harden, Kevin Durant and Kyrie came in in uh, the off season and free agent trading like that's two seasons ago. So they played last season. Now this is the second season here. And everyone's all like, "Is it a super team? All oh, they got these everyone's combined and trying to beat LeBron again." Blah 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 this and blah blah that. But nigga, it's just Lamarcus Aldridge. I mean like When the fuck has this nigga ever been a five, top five player in the world? When? Blake Griffin, when has this nigga ever been a top five player in the world? When? When? You know what I'm saying? And so the roster is James Harden, Kevin Durant, Kyrie, Blake Griffin, Joe Harris, DeAndre Jordan. It's like, nah. no, but I mean, it's DeAndre Jordan. It's, they have old brand names, you know what I'm saying? Jeff Green, Spencer Dinwiddie, Bruce Brown. Don't know who the fuck that is. Iman Shumpert. That nigga still in the league? Tyler Johnson. Don't know who that is. Landry Shamit. Timothy Laula Sabalaka. LaMarcus Aldridge, Andre Robertson's old ass, Noah Vonley, big ass bus, and the rest are so unknown it's not even worth mentioning. So when I look at their team, like, it's a good team, but how, how good really is LaMarcus Aldridge still? Do you consider him an above average big man in the league? I mean, you got. Let me think about this. You got Jokic. You got Embiid. You got Kristaps. Embiid. Jokic. Kristaps. Okay. You got Gobert. You got Anthony Davis. You got Ben Matabayo. You got Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, you got you got you got hella niggas. You know what I'm saying? So is he really an above average big man in the league? I argue not. Middle of the pack at best. And then you say is Blake Griffin an above average big man in the league? And we listen all those niggas, and we know it's not true. And so if you just bite out and got some. Decent ass, but not really great. Average middle of the pack ass niggas. They just have big names. It's like, is it really a super team? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't think it is. Now, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me rephrase this. The addition of Blake Griffin and Lamarcus Aldridge did not make it a super team. People are chipping out because they got LaMarcus Aldridge and Blake Griffin. But that's just brand name. You feel me? They're not really above average players. So it's not really like they just made a super team because they got those two people. It's questionably a super team because they have Kevin Durant, James Harden's MVP level, and they have Kyrie, level, or Kyrie Irving who's just above MVP level. You have three dudes who are top 15 in the league. Arguably, 
three dudes who are top ten in the league. Definitely two dudes who are top five in the league. And so when you look at it like that, that may make it a super team. But then you got who else you got to compete with in the East? They got the Bucks. Ah, you don't have to worry about them. They got the Sixers. Sixers looking pretty good. Heat, Heat are decent. Knicks are up there with their trash as fuck. Um, who else is in there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if there's any good teams. One second. I don't think there's any other good teams that are like. I know there's teams that I didn't name all eight teams, but like. And they ease that have a chance. Yeah, no. I guess you could maybe say the Celtics. If I name the Heat, you gotta say the Celtics because the Heat and the Celtics are both at the bottom. Out of the playoff picture. Raptors suck this year. Like, damn. But yeah. And then the West is fucking stacked. I mean, every, every team in the West could literally be every playoff team like eight and buff. Every playoff team eight and above, with the exception of maybe the Spurs, on any get okay. Every playoff team with eight and above except for the Spurs, so I guess you can say seven and above, currently right now. 3-30-21 in a seven game series in my mind have a good chance of beating every playoff team in the East with the exception of the Nets and the Sixers. Every team. When you look at it, the Jazz, best best record in the in the in the in the whole NBA. You got the Suns, red record, Clippers, Lakers. Nuggets. They have Jokic, Jamal Murray. Nuggets. Wait, I already said Nuggets. Uh, Chelbrazers. They got Damian Lillard, who's MVP. Uh, they got the Mavs, Kristaps and Luka. So, and then like the Hornets without Ma without Lamella Ball is eh. The Knicks in general are eh. The Hawks are eh. The Celtics. The Hawks, the Celtics, and the Heat are all below 500. So let's get that straight. They're all below 500. So when you really look at it, what was I going with this point? When you look at it, like the, the Nets, I'm not about to say, yeah, I don't remember. No, what's happening with the Nets, when they get out of the, the West, out of the East, which I do think they will, because I don't think the Sixers will be able to beat them because. The Sixers are good. They have MB who's playing like a, it was playing at an MVP caliber. The Ben Simmons is one of the best defenders in the league, which would have really helped since he's 6'10 and he's strong, he's big, and you can probably defend Kevin Durant probably as good as any player in the league can. Uh, ben Simmons lack a shot. And I don't think that I think the Sixers are kind of like the Bucks, if you will, with playoff basketball. You know, I don't think it's gonna go too well in in the in in, in, the, in the playoffs. Well, I really don't. So I don't think the Sixers can beat them. The Bucks also, like I said, they're not built for playoff basketball. I think the Nets are smooth sailing. I think the Nets may lose three games max coming out the East, if you're being honest. Three games max. If they lose more than three games, I'd be surprised. Wait a second. No, because the bottom twos are pretty good. They may lose... They probably lose about five games coming out the East. They probably Because the first round matchup is going to be against probably like the Heat, the Celtics, somebody like that. And, and they'll put up a good fight. They're not for the, the Heat or the Suns are not going to get ran out the fucking building against the Nets. Like, they'll put up a fight. And and so, I think they may they may go maybe a six-game series with, the, with the, either the Heat or the Celtics. They probably sweep the next team because it's most likely going to be somebody like the, the Knicks, the Hawks, the Hornets, somebody like that. Hornets without Mellow Ball would be trash as fuck. So, 
they're probably gonna run them out the fucking building. And then they may have to meet the Sixers or some shit in the finals. And so that may be a good series or something like that. But they may have to push it to two or th- they may push it to six or seven games, but any more than five or something like that, and it's and I'm concerned. That means it really wasn't a super dream like I thought it was, but I think it is to a degree. And honestly, if I had to put a pick in right now for NBA champion, if I'm a betting man, you're a betting man. Lakers. <laughs>